Hello, it's Thursday afternoon here at DX Engineering, and that means it's time for another Digital Dorsey. My name is Ken Dorsey, my call sign is KA8OAD, and today I'm going to uh, move away from the Raspberry Pi stuff for a couple weeks, and we're going to uh, demonstrate a new product that we just uh, have announced, uh, that we're just carrying, just started carrying for the IC7300. So let's say you have an IC7300 and you would really like a pan adapter. Well, we have a, an option for you now that you can use a SDR radio and a standard SDR software to put a pan adapter on your 7300. So the pan adapter uh, will go through what we're doing here. I'm using HD SDR, which is a very popular uh, SDR radio program. I also have Omni Rig running with HD SDR, so I can control the rig at the same time I'm also uh, controlling the SDR. I have uh, one of our little uh, a little SDR receivers here, our DX Patrol receiver. Uh, this is like a $99 SDR. It's plugged into a board that's actually connected, hooked into the back of the 7300, and that serves as our input or our antenna input for our HF, for our, uh, for our SDR radio. So as you can see here, we now have a pan adapter showing me all the frequencies. We're currently on 40 meter, and I can control the radio if I say, if I see, okay, let's go to this frequency here, you'll see that we've actually changed the frequency on the radio and I can turn the radio up here and we can modify fine-tune it there and you can actually see that we've picked up that QSO now on 40 meters so we have our entire band plan here you can move the you can use the uh, rig control on HDSCR by, by manually by just changing up and down and you can manually change the frequency on the radio because we're using Omni rig so you'll see the frequency change on the radio plus you get the SDR so again we're seeing the whole band band spread here the whole 40 meter band we can go to any one of these signals here click on one of these signals and actually be able to bring the signal up now we're a little bit off frequency there so we'll dial it in so there we go there's the frequency on the radio and we're showing the pan adapter. Now you can also zoom in. If you want to zoom in a little closer on a frequency, you can actually zoom up very close to the, uh, the frequency if you'd like to do that as well. So we're basically running SDR with HDSDR running Omni rig to control the rig. The HDSDR is plugged in a, into a, a USB port on the PC. I also have the 7300 plugged into a USB port on the uh, PC for the rig control, so we're doing everything through just the uh, SDR software. Now you do have to have an SDR radio. The SDR radio has to work. You have to make sure that the HDSDR program does work with your SDR radio. Uh, but once you have it working and have the SDR in, here's a perfect way to get a pan adapter on your 7300. So this little board is made by a company called Radio Analog. It is the PTRX7300 card. Um, and in our next version, our next edition, okay. Well, anyway, it's uh, by a company called Radio Analog. We do sell them here. Uh, in next week's episode, I will actually show you how to install this card. Very easy installation to do on the 7300. No tools required. Well. The only tool is required, that's required is a, a Phillips screwdriver for opening the case. But once the case is open, no tools required to uh, put the card in the radio. So we'll show you that. Oh, one other nice thing too about this SDR, if I turn off the rig control, if I go into options and turn the rig control off so I'm not syncing to the rig, I can actually use the SDR to go to other bands and then I can... Uh, monitor like let's say you want to monitor 20 meters I can go to 20 meters now I don't have an antenna on here that's going to work real well on 20 right now but I could actually set up set this up to monitor 20 meters and then I would have my own volume control on the PC for the SDR so I could actually bring up a, a different band and in receive so you don't have basically two receivers then off of the 7300 as well 
There's no problem with transmitting. When you transmit on the 7300, the radio just is disabled. The antenna input to the radio is disabled, so you're not going to blow up your SDR radio. That's all I have this week. Uh, watch for me next week for the uh, install for the board on the 7300. And until next week, 73s, if you have any questions, but make sure you contact DX Engineering at dxengineering.com or digital Dorsey at dxengineering.com. And we'd love to hear from you. 73.